And Archer is the first to show on the inside in Putty Road. Three to one, B. Root, not two at the off. And as they head towards the first of the ten flights of hurdles, they jump. They're at the first now, and it's uh, Putty Road. And we have a faller on the outside. In fact, we have two. Robert E. Lee has been brought down, and uh, the other faller was uh, Green Lane. Green Lane and Robert E. Lee went at the first. On the outside, it's Spark is Gale that's sharing the pace. My Rossini, Archer on the inner, and V. Root, not two, as they come to take uh, the second flight of hurdles, which they have all jumped safely. Both the horses are uh, safely on their feet, but the jockeys are being attended to uh, very promptly indeed. Come down towards, uh, in fact, it was Oats and Barley that was a fall, not, uh, not Green Lane. Come down to the turn out of the back stretch, and it's Archer that shows away on the inside of Maya Rossini. Then we have uh, in third place, Beirut, not too running the inside of Spark is Gale and Putty Road, and these are followed uh, by Give Us a Call as they begin the turn out of the back uh, straight and make their way down towards the two-mile start. So, it's Archer in the lead by a neck, no more, to Maya Rossini in second, showing third is uh, Putty Road, and then on the outside of these, Spark is Gale. Beirut, not too, is going the shortest way. Then on the outside, we have Give Us a Call, and uh, going the shortest way is Treble Bob in about sixth or seventh spot as they come to cross the third, at which Maya Rossini disputed the lead, and uh, Call My Guest just nodded on landing. Come down uh, towards flight number four, then, and it's Maya Rossini sharing the work with Archer, and uh, that's a length in front of Beirut, not two, is on the green and white colours on the inside. The very pale colours, that's uh, Putty Road. Then we have Green Lane close up, and on the outside of these is Spark is Gale, followed by uh, Give Us a Call. On the inside is Treble Bob, uh, giving the inside rail to no one. Go Ballistics out wide, going for the shopping, come down towards flight number four, and it's Maya Rossini that just uh, goes into the lead now. Maya Rossini from Archer, Maya Rossini over in the lead from Archer, and then Putty Road and Spark is Gale. And then comes Give Us a Call, followed by Green Lane, with uh, Call My Guest in behind these. B Root not two's on the inside, wherever B Root not two goes. Treble Bob is in within a length in Green Lane. Uh, White, Cologne, Abbott, Go, Belastic, and uh, Tersel uh, with uh, one of the back markers, Major Rumpus, at this stage. And also towards the rear is Charm as well. And at this stage, Fickle Lad is uh, well out of the uh, argument at this stage. But they've got a very long way to go as they swing left handed and race away from the enclosure. It's uh, my Rossini that gains the day. To Putty Road in second. Then Spark is Gale, the outside of Beirut, not two, is in a good position. Just quick in the pace there, uh, Jamie Osborne on Beirut, not two, and caught Treble Bob a bit flat footed, and he's got two lengths to spare over that one now. Archer's on the inside of him. Uh, Major Rumpus is making ground as they cross the next. Yes, and Brendan Sheridan's been quite hard at work on Treble Bob to try and keep up with them. He's in about sixth place on the inside. Yellow jacket, you'll see the jockey hustling the horse along to go the gallop. That was the fear beforehand. My Rossini is the leader, though, from Putty Road, B Root not to has had the run of the race in third place, the second favourite on the inside. Sparky Gale is back in fourth as they head towards the sixth flight. Towards the rear, still Ealing Court. Archer is dropping out very quickly now as they cross this one. And very well grouped, suggesting they haven't gone too quickly in the early stages. The pace sure to really quicken as they climb on the far side. My Rossini from B Root not to. Putty Road is very close. Treble Bob, the favourite, is back in about sixth place on the inside, just about hanging in there and he's expected to come good up the hill. They reach the top of the climb now towards the next. It's flight number seven and My Rossini from Putty Road. Sparky Gale, Green Jacket on the outside. They're followed by B. Rude not to. Then Encore on Purr and Treble Bob towards the inner. Cologne Abbott for the Lloyd Webbers on the outside next as they progress the rise now and start their way down the hill with My Rossini leading. And uh, that one has the edge at this stage. Uh, dropping out of it is Give Us a Call as they begin the descent. And as they do so, the brown sleeve jacket, it's uh, still my Rossini. In second place is Putty Road, the yellow colours, the outside green. Further left is Spark is Gale. Be rude not to is being ridden along, so to Treble Bob. And uh, on, from the back side to pick up is on Kerr on Purr. That's the third last. Race downhill towards the second last. My Rossini, Putty Road, the outside on the inner. Here goes Be rude not to has taken up the running now as they come down towards the second last. Be rude not to my Rossini up on the outside is Putty Road pulled very wide the horse with the nose band is Treble Bob and then the four year old Catagold is making great strides and these five have gone well clear of Major Rumpus and it's my Rossini and Putty Road who share it Beirut not to the inside and Beirut not to has got the one on the inside rail my Rossini can't answer challenges Putty Road on the outside so it's in the green and white Beirut not to the pale colours Putty Road how do they jump the last and it's Putty Road and Beirut not to in the air together and this treble Bob isn't giving up. He's really digging deep. It's B 
be rude not to. Travel Bob and Putty Road in the three wall. The horse wall as he makes up towards the line. But be rude not to and Putty Road. Neither horse will be defeated. And it's just going to be be rude not to who's going into the lead. But Putty Road is coming back. Oh, a desperate finish. And at the line, a photo, a photo between Putty Road and be rude not to. From the back, Turville flew on the death. And then behind these came Treble Bob, and these four had drawn a long way clear of Kilona, but behind that one uh, was Trickle Lad, and then Myra Sini ran a cracker, and then Caddy Gold had dropped away in front of Major Rumpus in the field, uh, trail back to one of the back markers, Elin Court, who was last of all. And so the outcome the, of this Sun Alliance Novices Hurdle, officially it's photo, but on our evidence there's no doubt that number 15, Putty Road, has won in the colours of Lady Harris. This one, uh, ridden by Norman Williamson, trained by David Nicholson, spare a thought for Adrian Maguire, who could well have ridden this horse at Putty Road, but it's Norman, Stormy Norman, who's done the business, his second one at the meeting. It's a close call, but then in that photo is number two, Be Rude, not two. You'd have to travel a long way to find a better race. Second horse, second horse home, Be Rude, not two, Jamie Osborne. And it's going to be very close for third with... Uh, just treble bob and turville in a photo for three and four and that is close very close indeed that's certainly one for the judge who has to study the evidence of the camera to determine the outcome of this the sun alliance novice hurdle not just from the winning position although a lot of people are confident and indeed giving norman williamson a round of applause as he comes back on seven to one chance but he rode <laughs> getting a tap on the back there from richard dunwoody who rode on Curran. So Putty Road has won it, and uh, that's a triumph for the Nicholson team, but you have to feel sorry 